In this video, I'm going to show you how to create realistic lip syncing using AI tools. We've tested all of the major lip syncing tools on the market, and to be fully honest, most of them are pretty terrible. But we have a really good workflow that I think you can use to get some realistic results. Welcome to Curious Refuge. Let's hop in. So like I said, there's a lot of lip syncing tools on the market, but not every tool can do everything and the quality can be pretty sketchy sometimes. So we're going to take a look at three different ways you can pull off lip syncing using AI tools. These are different scenarios that I think you may find yourself in as an AI filmmaker. And my hope is that by the time you get done watching this video, you'll be able to create everything from realistic lip sync to actor performance to having conversational scenes. So let's get to it. The first example that I want to talk about is simply typing in a prompt and getting realistic lip sync. There's a lot of tools out there that allow you to type in a prompt and basically upload an image and animate that image with lip syncing. But my favorite tool for pulling it off is using Google VO. So let's start things off in order. First things first, we need an image. So I'm going to be using this image of this man in a coffee shop. And basically I did a reverse shot of this woman having a conversation with the man. So let's go to the VO website here and I'm gonna go ahead and select try in flow because you have the ability to generate multiple results at a time. So when you use flow, you basically get more iteration, which means you can have better quality on your projects. And go ahead and select the new project button. So from here, click the drop down menu and go to frames to video, and then you'll hit this plus icon to upload your image. We'll say he says, and then put in parentheses, so I've been thinking a lot lately and I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. And what we're going to do is click on the model text here and make sure that we're in VO3 quality with the beta audio. For our example, I'm going to go ahead and select number four and let's go ahead and click generate. Okay, so after about a minute, we have our video clips. Let's take a look at each one and decide which one is best. So I've been thinking a lot lately, and um, I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. Not too bad. Let's take a look at number two. So I've been thinking a lot lately, and um, I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. Honestly, you can feel a lot of expression in his face there. Not too bad. Let's take a look at number three. So I've been thinking a lot lately, and I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. I think that's my favorite take yet. Let's take a look at number four. So I've been thinking a lot lately and I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. Okay, not too bad. So I actually think I like number three. So when you're ready to download that video clip, all you have to do is hit the download button and make sure that you download it in the original size. If you do the 1080p upscale, it's gonna look really distorted and strange. So we'll do the original size here. Now that video clip looks great, but the thing that you'll want to do after you've generated your video clips is up res the footage because it's only in 720p and you need a higher resolution if you're working on a high res film project. And in order to up res our footage, I'm going to use one of my favorite AI tools, Topaz Video AI. So let's go ahead and drag and drop that video footage into Topaz Video. And on the right here, you see we have output resolution. Let's select 4K and we'll select the Proteus model. It's the best model for general video purposes. We're going to make sure that recover detail is turned down to zero. And then we'll keep the 24 frames per second frame rate. I think that's perfect. And when you're ready, go ahead and click export. Okay, it took about a minute. Our video exported. Let's take a look. So I've been thinking a lot lately and I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. Okay, so there you go. You can type in text, get your video footage, up res it, and then at the end of the day, you can put it all together to create a conversational scene. I put together a quick example. Let's take a look. So I've been thinking a lot lately and I don't know if I should drink coffee anymore. I really like the taste, but I just get this nagging sense that I'm spending $7 on something that should be 50 cents. And with all that added savings, I could go back to clown school. Fine. They have terrible cappuccinos in Sarasota. You're gonna hate it. 
I'll see you at the circus. Okay, so there you go. Is the lip syncing absolutely perfect? Maybe not quite, but the fact that you can get that much performance just from typing in a prompt is truly incredible. The next lip syncing scenario that I want to show you is basically if you have the audio that you want your character to say, and you have the image of your character, but you need to link the audio to the character, what tool are you going to use? Well, there's a lot of lip syncing tools on the market that promise to do a really good job, but I think before we talk about those tools, let's take some time to remember the tools that really did not make the cut. I just realized that the secret to life isn't about pursuing happiness. It's actually all about Sour Patch Kids. Okay, joking aside, what tool are we going to use? Well, first things first, you need to generate the audio. And of course, you can do all sorts of different things. You can basically have a voice actor come in and you record their voice. You also could use text to audio tools like Eleven Labs to generate the voice. To pull that off in Eleven Labs, it's super easy. All you have to do is go to the Eleven Labs website and then go to Instant Speech or Text to Speech over here on on the left. And from the text to speech page, we can basically type in what we want the person to say. And for the voice, I found this one called Drill Sergeant, which uh, is just fantastic. So we'll use that one. And we'll use the 11 Labs V3 model. I should note that you actually have this button that can enhance your speech, which is pretty cool. And basically it'll look through all of your text and put in little tags that can add in just kind of more human emotion to the performance. And for this example, I'm going to turn down our stability down to creative, which basically can get just more dynamic range from the performances. You may have to generate a few more times, but you'll just get more variety. And so it, I think, ultimately makes the take much more interesting. So go ahead and click generate speech. And after just a couple seconds, you'll get this take. In all of my years of coaching football, I have never seen a bigger group of clowns. Okay, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and download that audio to our computer. So next we need to generate our image. I'm going to use this image that I created inside of Midjourney, but of course you can use whatever image you want. So the tool that we're going to use to take this audio and sync it to the image is an incredible tool called Heijin. Heijin actually specializes in voice translation, but they have this really unique feature called photo to video with Avatar 4 that really allows you to create realistic scenes by just uploading the audio. So let's go ahead and select that button on the HeyGen website and it's going to ask for our image. So we'll drag and drop the image here. And instead of typing in the text inside of HeyGen, we're going to upload our audio here and we'll just drag and drop the audio directly inside of HeyGen. And go ahead and select add audio. And you do have the ability to type in a prompt to basically get custom motion from HeyGen. A lot of people don't know about this, but it's actually really powerful. You can prompt for physical movements, things going on in the background, and you also can have directorial control over your character. So we can say an angry coach yells at his players. It just kind of gives more direction to what we're hoping to get from the generation and go ahead and select generate video. Now, before I show you the generation from Heijin, I do want to show you the result that we got using a runways lip syncing tool here. In all of my years of coaching football, I have never seen a bigger group of clowns. Okay, not a great result there. So let's take a look at our video clip directly from Heijin. In all of my years of coaching football, I have never seen a bigger group of clowns. Okay, not too bad. Honestly, it did a great job with the really dynamic mouth movements and I think that it could be improved just a little bit and of course you can go back and forth and prompt some of your generations might not look great but not too bad coming directly from Heijin. Now there's kind of a strange frame rate issue that can happen when you use Heijin so you may want to use a secondary tool to interpolate and basically make it look more realistic and the tool we're going to use is you guessed it, Topaz Video AI. So let's go ahead and pop up Topaz Video AI. I'm going to drag and drop our footage from HeyGen, and we can go ahead and change this to 4K. And for this result, because I'm really focused 
on the specific details in the output video, I'm actually going to select the Thea model, which is a model that's specifically designed for micro details. We'll also make sure that we have the compression artifacting, the sharpening, and the noise reduction all the way to zero because we want to have the maximum quality from the original video that we're uploading. We don't want to uh, basically go overboard and over smooth things. You, you really want it to look as uh, realistic as possible. But one thing you do want to do is select the frame interpolation button. So this is going to look for any duplicate frames. So specifically any weird frames where the mouth has that kind of jittery, almost like a high shutter speed lag to it. And it will go in and kind of smooth those frames a little bit. So we'll keep the frame rate original to 25. You could change it to 24 if you're working on a normal film project. And we've tested all of these models here and they're all pretty darn close. But I think the one that works the best is the Kronos model. So when you're ready to export, go ahead and select the export as button and save it to your computer. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Let's take a look at our final result. In all of my years of coaching football, I have never seen a bigger group of clowns. Awesome. And of course, you can edit everything together to create your own cinematic scene. I put together just a real dumb example. Let's take a look. In all of my years of coaching football, I have never seen a bigger group of clowns. And that's saying something. I was offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys. Ooh, zinger. As somebody uh, who's from the uh, Dallas area, that hits hard. And just to illustrate this workflow a bit further, I also wanted to show you two other quick examples. So I have this shot here of this woman who's looking at her computer. She adjusts her hair. Typically that's kind of a hard motion because she like covering up her lips and the AI system won't know what to do. And then we have this other shot here of this woman looking at her phone. This is a bit more of what I would call a standard shot, you know, not directly looking at the camera. It's not like influencer content, more of a cinematic shot. Let's say that we wanted to animate their face using Heijin. So I have this audio here from Eleven Labs. Let's take a quick listen. I just realized that the secret to life isn't about pursuing happiness. It's actually all about Sour Patch Kids, specifically the blue flavor. Okay, great. So that's the audio that we're going to use. And the cool thing is because we are taking this from a scene that we shot, we can just take a screenshot of the very first frame. So we have our first screenshot and then we have our second screenshot and we can run those video clips through Heijin and that gives us these results. I just realized that the secret to life isn't about pursuing happiness. It's actually all about Sour Patch Kids, specifically the blue flavor. Yes, it is. So that's the first clip there. Let's take a look at clip number two. I just realized that the secret to life isn't about pursuing happiness. It's actually all about Sour Patch Kids, specifically the blue flavor. And the last shot is really cool because we actually prompted in for the character to adjust her hair while she's delivering the lines and you can see it actually pulled it off. Now, are there some continuity issues? Sure, but I think in the context of a larger film, it's something that you could very easily fix, whether it's through cutting away or just through generating the shot again. So that brings us to our final way that I want to show you how to do lip syncing using AI tools. And basically in this scenario, I want to imagine that you have a video clip that you like of a character, but you want to transform a performance from a different character onto that original video clip. Well, what are you going to do? So for our example, we're going to use this clip here of the woman checking her phone. And let's say that there's a very specific performance that we want her to say into her phone, like basically looking down and we want to have just much more control over that output. So what you need to do is create a driving video. So this video doesn't have to be shot on a super expensive camera. You can literally use an iPhone. The video clip that I'm going to show you right now was shot on my laptop just using the webcam. So basically you're going to want to take the exact same angle of the performance and capture it so you can use it inside of the tool that I'm going to show you in just a second. So here is my beautiful performance. I hope you enjoy. I just realized that the secret to happiness is not about pursuing happiness. It's actually about Sour Patch Kids, specifically 
the blue ones. Amazing, I know. Okay, so now it's time to take that performance and put it on the original video clip. So to pull this off, we're going to go to Runway Act 2. So we're on the Runway site. Go ahead and click on that Get Started button. And you can go to your dashboard and essentially just go to the Generate Video section. So down here at the bottom, you'll see there's an Act 2 button. Go ahead and select that. And we'll drag and drop our performance video. And then we will also drag and drop our character video into the character box. So the video footage of the woman on the phone we'll put in the bottom section here. Now, when you're ready, go ahead and select generate character. Now, I do want to illustrate a quick point. If you have a video clip where the character does obscure their face a little bit, Act 2 doesn't always do a great job. So for example, we can drag and drop our character performance with the woman covering up her face a little bit and go ahead and select generate character. And you can see that it says we couldn't detect the face in your input. So it's a little picky with the type of video clip that you can use. You typically need somebody who's more or less facing the direction that you need to composite the performance on. And before we take a look at our results, I just want to let you know that if you ever want to learn the latest AI filmmaking animation or VFX techniques, be sure to check out our courses over at Curious Refuge. We train artists at every major studio and in 172 countries. We would love to help you achieve your AI filmmaking goals. Be sure to check out our courses over on our website. And of course, reach out if you ever have any questions at all. Okay, let's take a look at our final result. I just realized that the secret to happiness is not about pursuing happiness. It's actually about Sour Patch Kids, specifically the blue ones. <laughs> I love that the hand just goes up at the end and then she just dogs the camera. So it's pretty cool because when you work with act two, you can run the prompt again and again, and it will give you a different result. So truly an incredible output from Runway there. It's actually pretty cool that it also will take the original performance and composite it on the character. Okay, so there you go. There's a few of our favorite ways to create lip sync on your AI videos. Of course, if you wanna get the latest AI filmmaking news sent directly to your inbox, be sure to subscribe to our email newsletter by going to curiousrefuge.com, click that blue button in the top right corner, and you can fill out the form, and then we will send you the latest news that you need to know about each week. And our promise to you is that we're not gonna overhype things. We will give you our honest impression of all of the tools and we'll give you a free AI filmmaking course just for signing up. We actually were just in Venice this last week and the winner of the competition said they started their AI filmmaking journey through that free course. So we would love to have you inside of the program. And of course, please be sure to like and subscribe here on YouTube to get the latest tutorials and AI news directly here on the platform. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.